So some people don't think my uh, Rembrandt theory is up to much. But this is it. This is the Annette copper etching plate. This is a mirror. Uh, this is a concave mirror just here. Got a little bit of tissue paper on it, keep it protected. And then uh, there's the projection on the copper etching plate. That's my phone there, so move that out of the way. And if I move the big mirror back over here, which is the flat mirror, dun, 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 it goes out of focus, but then you get a different um, image if I pull it close, you get a different focus, you get maybe a slightly smaller projection. If I pull this closer, the projection will enlarge, it'll go slightly out of focus, and then I'll just refocus it there. There you go, there I am again. Um, if I move my head closer, it goes out of focus. But this, I'm just showing you, you can adjust the size of the, the image. Um, just the light on the image. It's got curtains here. You can see them even projected on the wood, right? Uh, which is here. Watch when I move my arm across. You can see my hand going through the copper and there. Uh, that's me moving the curtain. Um, that's the phone getting in the way. It's a little bit tricky to film it because the phone goes across my face and blocks the light, but essentially um, you can see what's going on there. Yeah, and uh, the lighting is very. Uh, try and get a shot of that when I turn my face around. Very what you might call Rembrandt esque. No? It's difficult to watch both at the same time, so if I lose the direction of the camera, forgive me. Let's have a look. And you can just play with the focus, like and you play with the size slightly. There's a sort of limit to this, how small you can get it. Basically, by moving one mirror, it goes smaller. And then um, another one, it goes large. So, see my teeth? They're quite clear. 